It's good to hear. Yeah, the telecom sector is an interesting sector. It's the black sheep of the IT field, and it's really interesting. I remember I got started and I did a lot of Asterix PBX work on CentOS. It was actually why I got involved in Linux in the professional sphere was just for the telecom side of things. Because if you do like Asterix boxes with like free PBX, it's kind of cool. And then I've done some a lot of sponsored videos on the channel over 3CX, which is uh, a really good product too. But what happens with telecom and why I say it's the black sheep is there's so many resellers. And there's resellers of resellers. <laughs> it is it is crazy how much resell like you'll have a reseller of a reseller of a reseller. It's like the inception of reselling. Uh I remember walking into a business and I think they were paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for telecom. And I revamped their system. I think I just tossed in a, a PBX and uh, maybe maybe is a little more complex. Like I think I did a hosted PBX solution in the cloud, and then I did a session board, border controller or SBC locally, and then connected it all up, and then uh, tied it all in with, uh, I think Flow Route. But you can use any any uh, commercial seller of numbers and in minutes. So I did that, and their their monthly bill went from fifteen hundred dollars a month to like twenty dollars, I think. No, no, no. I think it was a little more than that. I think it's $30, depending on the month and usage. Between $20 and $30 a month is what they're paying now. That's just because we cut out every reseller. It's kind of insane that, you know, it, it, I wanted to, that's probably why I still have a job, to be honest. Because a lot of people think I just do YouTube full time, but actually, I, I, I pull benefits and I go to a, a law firm in Dallas and I still have a job over there. But a lot of it is because a lot of the systems I've set up don't need me, but they save them just a ton of money. So it kind of makes sense to pay someone like me just to have around just in case something happens because they just save a lot of money because they're not paying for these ridiculous systems that everyone's like, well, just go with Ring Central. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you're going to get locked into probably a 36 month lease uh, contract with a terrible schedule and you're just going to get screwed. And literally I can save them enough money to almost justify just having another person on staff. It's kind of wild how crazy everything in the IT field has gone as software as a service and software as a service is just the devil. It is awful. I hate software as service. I hate subscriptions. You should just pay up front for whatever it is you're trying to do. And then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about, oh my God, oh, they're, they're locking us in for another five years. We'll never get out of this contract. And that's a lot of things. I mean, mails, mail systems, printers. Oh my gosh. I hate the printer systems. Also really gross. I could just go, I could just go on for another 30 minutes tangent of all the things I've dealt with in business, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, <laughs> but I'm just saying those things. Oh my word. <laughs> Welcome to Windows. Yeah. Yeah. If everything is working, why do we pay you? <laughs> that, that's a good one. Oh, Nav. Everything is broken. Why do we pay you? <laughs> that's like the life of IT right there.